Tomorrow would have been John Lennon's 70th birthday. His widow, Yoko Ono, said he dreaded turning 40, but thinking of 70 made him smile. So with the celebration is coming, peaceful, musical, all over the world. Our top rock fan, Dan Harris, will be right in the thick of it. So many of us find it so hard to believe that this global icon of youthful rebellion and idealism would now be turning 70, a birthday that's being marked in a big way. All of John Lennon's solo albums are being re-released in a box set. So keep on playing those mind games. I'm gonna start a rock and roll group. There's a new movie coming out that examines the teenage years of the future Beatle. I'm John. Paul. Oh. And this new PBS documentary takes a look at the last decade of Lennon's life. So I had to contribute something. Not the documentary around, also contains rare home movies of the five years that Lennon took off from music to raise his son, Sean. Yeah, I looked after the baby and I made the bread and I was a house husband and I'm proud of it. Even this act of domesticity was radical. For a father to be as involved in raising his family and in making that a priority, that wasn't in the 70s, you know, that wasn't really a... Thing that you saw so much. Yoko Ono has said she's surprised by all the activity around her husband's birthday, but it is a testament to his enduring appeal. Life and career of John Lennon, singer, songwriter, symbol of an era, dead at 40. Nearly 30 years after he was shot and killed outside of his apartment building in New York City. Today, right across the street in the part of Central Park named Strawberry Fields in honor of John Lennon and his music. Imagine all the people. So many of the songs are now part of, you know, sing-alongs in, in nursery schools and uh, lullabies and, and just the music that you grow up with when you live on this planet. And the And here we are at Strawberry Fields as the sun goes down. And George, it's worth noting that people visit this place pretty much every day of the year, rain or shine. And tomorrow on Lennon's actual birthday, the crowd is expected to be huge. More evidence that 30 years after he died, John Lennon still matters. Nope.